What's up, YouTube? Today uh, we're going to um, replace the uh, cooling flute on my uh, 05 Yamaha V Max. And um, how we look at it, you know, uh, is the 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 flute is kind of like old and um, kind of like very uh, thick. So uh, it, it's time to uh, change it out because the last uh, owner told me that uh, he haven't done anything with the cooling. So I guess it's the it's what the 16 years right now so uh that definitely uh, need to be changed all right let's get the this started all right first uh we're gonna have to remove the uh the fake uh the dummy tank put the key in there push it down unlock it pull it right out so uh, as you can see, the uh, the cooling uh, reservoir is right underneath the uh, the dummy tank. So we're gonna uh, open it up, put it on the side. Then the uh, next step you're gonna do is uh, remove this uh, cover over here. Got one more on top. And after you remove the carver, just uh, go ahead and uh, open the cap. Uh, make sure your engine is the, is cool, guys, before you uh, open the cap. The next step is to uh, open this. That's it. Next, um, we have to uh, remove the uh, the drain nut right here. I already got the uh, the drain uh, pan down here. Um, before you open it, just uh, make sure uh, you got something to cover this real quick. As you can see, it's draining out crazy. <clears throat> so uh, on the uh, the cylinder cover, you got the uh, two over here. So basically, I just remove the cap and then stick in the uh, a little uh, uh, nut right there and kind of like pull it out. See more cooling coming out of there. So we need to get that uh, out of there too. All right, after you uh, drain all the uh, the cooling flue in the uh, cylinder, so basically we're just gonna clean up the uh, the nipple here, and then uh, put it back on. Uh, next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the uh, the reservoir, and then I'm gonna clean it out with the uh, water hose. So all you do is uh, disconnect these two holes, oops, and then uh, pull the tank right up. Oh, I'm gonna take it outside and clean it up real quick. All right, I already uh, cleaned the tank and there was a lot of debris and stuff, you know, built up on the bottom of it. So uh, it's nice and clean right now. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, put it back on. Mm -hmm. 
All right, next step you want to do is to put the uh, the drain nut back on there. All right, yeah. Um, after you put the drain nut back on, I'm gonna put in the uh, this spilled water, so into the uh, the uh, radiator and uh, fill it all up, all the way. And then uh, we're gonna um, let the engine run for for a little bit, so that way it will circulate all the uh, the old um, all the old uh, cooling, and then we're gonna drain it all back out again. So I have uh, one gallon here, and all I used was about that much. Uh, I would say. Uh, I got a quarter left in the bottle, so uh, just uh, stop right there. All right, next you're gonna, you're gonna have to put the cap back on. All right, uh, next step you're gonna have to turn that uh, nut with the off. I light with uh, this corner right here. Next up, I'm gonna turn the engine on and let it run for like two minutes. All right, I'm gonna turn that to uh, on one more time. And then uh, we're gonna have to uh, drain all that uh, water out. Uh, be careful guys, the water is kind of warm. Uh, make sure you let the, uh, the engine cool off before you uh, open it up. There is some coolant left in inside the engine. We need to get all that out before we put the uh, new coolant back in. All right, I still got some uh, left right here, so I'm gonna keep the uh, the drain nut open. Then I'm gonna dump all this in, so that way we will flush the system one more time. Right, as you can see here, I got the uh, the engine eyes that I bought on Amazon, and um, this is the, um, the one and a half gallon, which is the 1.89 liter. Uh, we only need 2.75 liter or uh, 2.81, uh, 2.91 quart. So, two two of these suits, uh, should be. Uh, uh, enough for the whole uh, cooling um, system. All right, uh, while waiting for the uh, the drain, it's still dripping right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, pull this uh, reservoir and uh, fill it up to uh, the full. All As you can see, the full level uh, marking is right there. Uh, I already got it full. So uh, next step, I'm gonna put on the uh, the drain nut, and then uh, we're gonna fill up the uh, the radiator. Uh, as you can see, I already filled it up with the uh, uh, coolant all the way up. Now I'm gonna squeeze the hose to make sure there's no uh, uh, air trapped inside the hose. 
All right, uh, let's uh, put the uh, the cap back on here and uh, uh, turn that to uh, um, to uh, off again, and then uh, we're gonna have to uh, uh, start the engine up, let it run for a little bit, and then check on the uh, the cooling uh, level again. Uh, basically, I forgot to uh, put this in the water weather. So, um, uh, as a lot of people recommend uh, to use these with the uh, the cooling uh, system, um, you're gonna have to add um, one ounce per quart. So uh, we basically have about three quarts in here. So we're gonna put in about um, twelve capfuls, which is the uh, I think like um, like uh, three ounce maybe. All right, guys. Uh, after you uh, fill up the cooling fluid, um, make sure everything tightened down. Um, give it, you know, um, a ride, you know, around town, and check on the cooling again to see if it uh, in up. If it not in up, if it doesn't get to uh, the top, we need to uh, top it off some more. Um, so um, basically, I'm gonna take the bike out and uh, clean it up real quick, give it a wash to make sure that the cooling doesn't, uh, you know, corrode it on my uh, engine, you know, my bow and nuts. So um, I hope the video is the is helpful for you. And uh, if you haven't uh, subscribed my channel, please uh, do it now. Um, if you like the video, please give it a thumb up, and um, I'll um, I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.